Police are investigating several pharmacy burglaries that have occurred in Mobile over the past six months. Thieves have stolen tens of thousands of dollars worth of pain medication, and pharmacists want it stopped. News 5's Ashley Knight spoke with local pharmacists, and she tells you more. Burglars first attempted to break into Dawes Point Pharmacy on Cottage Hill Road in July. And with crowbars and tried to crowbar our doors open to pop the doors. So then they tried to break the glass out with crowbar with the crowbars. Once the alarm went off, the two suspects scampered off. They had gloves, hoodies, masks. Uh, you couldn't tell anything about them. Pharmacist Laney Christopher believes the same two came back in November for another try. Threw a, a piece of granite repeatedly against the glass. Luckily, he's got something called impact glass that won't break, so thieves didn't get a thing. However, that wasn't the case at Family Pharmacy Care on Hillcrest Road. Where we might store hydrocodone and kind of clean that area out and then just... They were very specific. Stealing possibly $50,000 worth of medication. According to DeHart, the two suspects sound exactly like the two who tried breaking in over at Dawes Point. DeHart's taking action, getting security blinds for the outside and making some other changes. There have been seven pharmacies in Mobile that have been broken into or targeted in just the last six months. Some speculate it might have something to do with the closing of a local pain clinic after two doctors were accused of running a pill mill. Pharmacists say something needs to be done. I wonder, I think it, it has uh, a lot to do with the problem we have in Mobile County with, with opiate addiction. But we definitely have some issues that we as a community need to address. Now, there's also been at least one pharmacy burglarized in Sarah Land. That was back in November. Thieves took pain medications and other controlled substances. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Knight, News 5.